Hey, Sneaky Link's back again tonight. And there's the second part of our Lubuntu videos. Last one's just an intro, really, wasn't it? But here we're going to go straight into Lubuntu. Now, when you install it, very blue, isn't it? Very, very blue. Now, being Lubuntu, you don't actually get a lot with it. Because it's only 380 meg, 390 meg download, so, you know, don't expect too much. But that's what it's designed for, really, for a low-end machine. But if you put it on a high machine, it'll go whoosh. Chromium web browser, I'm not too happy about as the main web browser, but hey, lots of people like it. Lots of people like Google Chrome, so you know, it works. Apple Word and Genomeric, all your office stuff. Osmo for your calendar, you've got a PDF viewer. Send system, Aqualung is there. DVD I've installed myself. OpenShot I've installed myself, just to make sure it all works. VLC2 for the extra codex. And TTK record my desktop, obviously, otherwise I'll be doing this now, would I? So, what I'm just going to do in this first part is just do some system stuff and show you what I'm actually running on. It's a full install on a whole machine. A real machine, yes. A real one. So we go. I've got 1.5 gig of RAM in there. It's only using 170 megabytes. And I'm recording at the same time. Pretty good, really. Wasn't too, you know, pretty good, don't you think? Osphone system. And there's my kernel modules. All the stuff that I need at the moment. Now, as you will find as you use Lubuntu, you may need more, all depending on what you use your system for. But hey, if you only want to use it just for browsing stuff and basic stuff, you won't have to actually add much more to it. But basically, it's well fast. I mean, boot up is around about 20 seconds, I'd say. Maybe less. Shut down, I've had it done in five. So hey. So what I've done now, we're just going to run a couple of benchmarks. This is the Blowfish one. Look, I've got 8.3. And next to the Intel seller on is... 26, so that makes this pretty good. Now I'm not sure if it's actually run the dual core section on my PC correctly, because I was expecting a bit better than that. So I'm going to do another one. There we go. If it was not ga, whatever that says. That looks also good, but it's only rates my machine as 1200, which in theory it is because it's not a core 2 duo. It's only a dual core. That's the way they got round it. Enough a story that could be, couldn't it? Somebody else could do that story on that one. So I've run that John Walker's benchmark. There we go, look. Just that benchmark, just to show you what it can do in the internals. So we wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, more, some more. Oh, wait, some more. There we go. I mean, it looks pretty good, really. That's not too bad, really, is it? Very, very good. All I'm going to say is it's blisteringly fast. If you don't want all the wings, uh, whistles and bells, or wings and lines and stuff like that, this is for you, I think. As I said before, you don't get much in the menu. Get appearances, desktop utilities, hardware drivers. We'll go to them, okay? Now, normally, if you install Ubuntu or Kubuntu, this will come up and it'll say, oh, there's drivers available. Now, you don't get all that here. You have to go and find them yourself. Now, whether that will change when we go to the full release at the end of April is another thing. So we put in our password, and off we go to Synaptic. There we go. So see how quick it is. I'm not editing it at all, actually. It's really, really quick. So we go to search, we'll put NVIDIA in, just to see what they have in the Synaptic Package Manager. There we go. All of them are okay here. Yeah, I'll know all them. And there we go, look. There's loads and loads of NVIDIA stuff. So basically, you could actually customise it for whatever sort of mis machine you have. So you have an older one that doesn't work with a newer driver, you go back to the older driver, and install it as you go. Which is fair enough, isn't it? So that basically means that Lubuntu is not only good for a low-end machine, but if you want to like, plan around with your machine, you can actually plan around all the different drivers that's already installed in Synaptic for you. No problem. Super duper. I like it. Now we're coming to the end now. This part of it anyway. And I'll do a couple more tomorrow. But as you can see, there ain't much in the menu, is there? But did you expect there to be? No, not for that sort of download, really. X works brilliantly. Okay, yeah, there's no NVIDIA drivers, but hey, sneaky links out. Till next time.